Hello fellow foodies. Today, we're gonna explore Universal City Walk and try out the bread box handcrafted sandwiches. Let's go ahead and get some food and see what it's all about. So we're right at the top of the second deck of the City Walk area, and we've got bread box handcrafted sandwiches. Looks like they have some good options available, including, well, looks like they have milkshakes too. Let's go on inside. Pretty cool atmosphere we got going on here. The ordering area. And then a good look at the menu. They have numerous different sandwiches between deli sandwiches and melts. Let's see what we're gonna get. Now looking at the other side, if we go to the left, you can see some seating area. It's actually a little bench swings there and little tables, really cool. And then you got a little bar area. And then pretty am ample seating here for the bread box. Of course, you look right outside to get an idea of location. There's Moe's right along the wall with Panda Express and Burger King Bar. I'm sorry, the Burger King Whopper Bar. And then Bubba Shrimp Company way down over there. And they even offer Mobile Express pickup. And for those of you who have the refillable mugs, you can also get those refilled here and activated as well. We went ahead and ordered our sandwiches and just so you know, the sandwiches don't initially come with the side, but you can, for additional cost, add fries, coleslaw, or tater tots. We actually did get tater tots and coleslaw with a couple of our sandwiches, so we'll show you that too, as well as those sandwiches when they arrive. Also, when you are sitting in, they're gonna give you a table placard, they're gonna bring the food to you, and then if you're also drinking, there's your beverage there if you're just buying it by itself without the refillable buck. All right, so here's the BLTA that I got, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and avocado with a side of coleslaw. Christy got herself a nice pastrami there, it looks like. Got some Thousand Island dressing and uh, and uh, some cheese there. I believe it was uh, Swiss cheese, I believe it might have been. On uh, some rye. Then Lorelei got herself an Italian sandwich on ciabatta. Looks like a really good mix there. Then Anthony got his delicious looking patty melt with some tater tots. Okay, Christy's taking a bite of that pastrami. It's really good. Definitely pastrami. The sauce and everything in it makes you feel like you have sauerkraut. So it kind of feels like a Reuben. Really good. See all that meat in this goodness inside of there. And then Lorelai took a bite of her Italian already. What do you think? It's pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah, the bread is buttery. And the meat and the combination of all the vegetables is really good. It could use a little bit of sauce. Okay. And then Anthony had made himself a little bit of mayo chip here for his, it looks like probably for his patty melt and tater tots or just the, the patty melt? Just the tater tots. Oh, just the tater tots, okay. All right, here we go. That's really good. That ground, the ground beef is nice and tender. The cheese melted as it should be. Those, those caramel, caramelized onions are really good, sweet and spicy. All right. Before I take a bite of my sandwich, I'm gonna remove this coleslaw. Let's see how that is. Take a look at how fresh looking it is, actually. It has a really nice crunch to it. More vinegary, vinegary based and mayonnaise based, but very uh, delightful. It's not overly sauced, and uh, you know, it's just got enough seasoning in there to make it a really good uh, coleslaw you'd expect from like a deli. Overall, I think this place is a, has a deli vibe to it for sure. Okay, now time to take a bite of this awesome looking BLTA. So what I would expect from a BLTA, instead of lettuce, it looks like it's arugula. So if you like the peppery arugula, you got that. Uh, the avocado has a nice smooth texture. Um, and then that bacon, of course, nice and crispy. Toasted bun, or I'm sorry, toasted bread. I like it a lot. I was kind of in a BLT mood today anyway. So, a good choice if you like BLTs. All right, now Anthony, get some of this tater tot dipped in this mayo chub. It's really good, nice and crunchy, soft on the inside, as all tater tots should be. And overall, it's just a really good, simple tater tot. I mean, what's nice is that they don't call them potato barrels here. They actually call them tater tots like they should, and it doesn't have that barrel shape. It's more like a, a tot. I mean, I guess you want to say it's more of a cylindrical. 
I mean, I mean, I guess I mean tabletops are cylindrical too, but it's kind of short and stubby in this case. So thank you for exploring Redbox handcrafted sandwiches at Universal City Walk with us today. If you want more foodie content, make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button plus ring that bell to get the latest updates. But until then, I hope you have a great, big, beautiful day, and we will see you real soon.